let's take a look at the new block editor and box edits beta. If you've watched my tutorial on the modeler, this should immediately look familiar. The difference in the block editor is that your object is always a solid cube. You can't remove or create voxels, only color them. So we only have the pen, line, flood, and picker tools, which only operate in paint mode. The max block resolution is the default 32 cubed voxels, but you can use the reduce volume button to create more simple designs like Minecraft 16x16 textures. You can also rotate or flip your designs. The mirror drawing feature does not work at this time. Just like in the modeler, you can turn on a grid view and reset the camera if needed. The added block sides panel shows you a flat view of each of the cube's six sides. You can select them one at a time or flip and rotate that side only, though the edges touching that face will be altered also. PNGs of the selected face can be exported and imported individually. This is helpful if you want to reuse a face across multiple blocks, like a common dirt texture with different kinds of grass and rocks on top. The material and palette panels are exactly the same as the modeler, supporting glowing emissive swatches and allowing for palette saving and loading. The last new feature in the block editor is the camera settings. Besides toggling between perspective and orthographic views, you can select any side to view in flat 2D. But in the block editor, it tiles that side all around so you can see how your design will stack up with multiple copies the way it would happen in the sandbox game maker.